Hi, I'm Ree Johnson, and I'm here inside of my son's bedroom with his monkey bars. Yes, he has monkey bars in his bedroom. Pretty amazing. We made them handmade, and he plays on them all the time, and it's great. But these monkey bars aren't just for him. They're also for me and anybody else who comes over who wants to play around. And why are monkey bars important? Why am I doing a tutorial about monkey bars? When we start to play around with holding our body weight up in a different way, creating that new load to the muscles and the tissues, not only are you gonna strengthen your wrists, but your shoulders are gonna be more strong, your core is gonna be more strong. It's a really beautiful functional movement. So it's not just about being able to get across the monkey bars or do 25 pull-ups. It's more about creating a new sense of strength, capability, and of course, functionality for your body, especially as we get older too. Now, a really great place to start is if you don't have something over your head, if you're not at the park, you don't have a chin-up bar in your house, then for sure you do have a doorway. And what you can do with the doorway, or if you happen to have a pole or something, you can actually go to the doorway and uh, hold on to the side of the door like so, although my hand's gonna have to be a little bit different because this isn't a doorway, but to show you. And then you would bring your feet close to that door, so you're sideways to the doorway, and then you start to lean away. And you're providing a very similar load to your arm, your wrist, your shoulders, all the tissues there that you would with your arm overhead. So that's a beautiful alternative. It's a beautiful place to start especially and then you can work your way bringing your hands higher up the doorway so that you're getting into that more overhead position. Okay, let's start here. All we're going to do is take our hands overhead. Now you'll probably just have a chin up bar or one bar, one post here to pull up. Because I've got monkey bars and because I'm facing the camera this way, I'm going to use my hands on one on each bar. Either way doesn't matter. You can go like this, right? Or you can go what I'm doing here. So you have both of your hands. They can be about shoulder width apart. If you're really tight in the, in the lats and the chest and your pecs, you might actually wanna have your arms starting off a little bit wider apart. And you gently wrap your hands around and then start to, so my feet are on the ground. Actually, my feet are on my son's bed. His bed's directly underneath here. So my feet are on the ground and I'm going to start to bend my knees. And as I bend my knees, that means I'm putting more weight into my arms, but with my feet on the ground. So you can control how much work you're going to do here. So bit by bit, just simply start to bear a little bit more load into your hands, into your wrists. Now, one thing you want to really show or really look for is that are you hanging out with your ears, with your shoulders scrunched up to your ears? So one thing that we can do, and let's regress this one a little bit. So I'm going to stand back up. Now, before I put more weight on, let's all bring our arms forward. So you bring your arms forward and then look at your biceps and look at your elbow pits, right where you bend your elbows. And we're going to externally rotate so that your elbow pits and your biceps are rolling up and away. So the external rotation. Let's keep that external rotation feeling as we bring the arms up. And then here, before putting any more weight, I'm gonna still feel like I'm externally rotating and immediately I start to wake up here into my lats, into my armpits. So what this is doing is actually securing my shoulder joint in a really good stable place, securing it with the beautiful strong muscles surrounding my shoulder joint. So instead of just hanging out like that, then we want to get that, what I sometimes call armpits of power. And you can link to the video uh, that I have linked here. So you'll see the little box there to the armpit of power tutorial to learn more about that. In the meantime, so let's externally rotate. So you start to feel everything around your beautiful shoulder joints wake up and start to bring more weight. Now you can hold this for as long as you can. We're all at different places here. So if this is really new to you, I would just play around with keeping my feet on the ground and then playing and exploring. What does it feel like to try to keep the armpits of power, try to keep the outer edge of my armpit wrapped forward around for stability. And then from there, you can play around. Maybe you wanna bring your one foot off and then you can bring your other foot off. And in fact, this is a really nice little exercise in of itself because 
when I bring one foot off, the load changes over a little bit differently in my core. You'll probably notice that. When I bring the other foot off, same thing. So you're starting to work on uh, stabilizing your core in a really simple and yet super effective way. Do that a few times until maybe you feel bold enough or strong enough to see what happens when both of your feet come off the floor. Now, some of the things that I like to do and work on is actually working on how, seeing how long I can stay holding myself upright. Because a lot of times when we first work on hanging work, like monkey bars or just simply hanging, is that our grip strength fails us first. So over time, the more you just simply work on holding yourself upright, you're actually not just improving the strength of your arms, but you're improving the strength of your grip. So I'm super proud of the calluses that I have in my hands because they allow me to hold myself and even carry really heavy things really well because not only do I have the strength in my upper body, but I have the strength in my hands themselves. So if you're finding that your grip strength that is kind of painful in your hands is preventing you from holding yourself upright for very long, keep working on that. Keep holding and seeing how long can I hold this without falling, without losing it, until my hands feel like, oh, can't do it anymore. Right, so sometimes you can work yourself up to 10 seconds, 20 seconds, eventually up to a minute or longer. All right, now, if you're at the point where you can hold yourself up off the ground for a couple breaths or longer, then I like to add a couple more things to strengthen my upper body. I like to do just little lifts like this. I'll show you what I'm talking about. Again, it's gonna be usually where we're across the bar like so, and then you're going to, so if you can bring your feet up off the ground and you're holding here, watch the rib thrust. So try not to push your ribs out, let your ribs nestle back down. And then I just do little lifts, little lifts here where I'm still wrapping the outer edge of my armpits around, but what I am keeping my elbows fairly straight, but I'm actually kind of lifting myself up from my back, from my lats, from my shoulder blades, and doing those a few times. Now, if you happen to be at the monkey bars where you have two bars side to side, that's a nice way to change up the work in holding yourself up. And what I like to do then is hold one hand to one monkey bar, one hand to the other. And then I start to just slowly shift from side to side. And this isn't this lazy hang where I'm dumping into the shoulder joint. I'm still thinking about armpits of power. I'm still thinking about wrapping my outer armpits around, but then I just go from side to side. Now, if you can't quite do a pull up, for me, <laughs> I've been working for a year or so trying to get a pull up. And it's hard, and I'm talking a pull up from a dead hang, right? So a dead hang is where you're hanging all the way and then trying to, <laughs> ah! <laughs> Woo! I did it mostly. So that was, that was my, my pull-up. That was, I'm pretty proud of that actually. So some of the work that I'm doing to get myself in from that dead hang pull-up and to be able to do more than one is to also uh, do, the, do, do a movement where we, instead of pulling yourself all the way back, work on that stamina and stability in the negative cycle. So instead of that dead hang, so I'm gonna just kind of jump up into this. Don't bonk my head. Okay, so I'm lifting myself up and then I would go and hold and then hold and then hold and hold and hold. So see how I did that nice and slow-ish? <laughs> so I would do that and hold that for actually a little bit longer, but that's a nice way to progress your strength and that eccentric movement. But I also like to add a little bit more really spe spe specific core work. And one of my favorite things to do is work on a dynamic core because our core isn't just our six pack muscles here, right? Our core comes around to the side and the back and you've got these deeper core muscles, the first layer of your core muscles, which is the transverse abdominis and the obliques as well, your side core muscles. And so this next little exercise is gonna get those transverse abdominis and obliques awake. So this is our movement. So I'm gonna, again, holding here, you can also do it from the side like that, but I'm gonna show it from the front here. And I'm going to bring my knees up, and then I'm going to start lifting my outer hip. So what I, the movement is, thinking about my 
right side to left side, uh, side of the pelvis lifting up, and then side to side. So I'll show that now in the air. So I'm holding, knees up, and then I lift, and I lift, and I lift, and I lift. And I'm trying not to let my knees lead the way. I'm really thinking about letting my side core and my pelvis lead the way here. And you can do that for as long as it feels good. Do it a few rounds, a few couple, a couple different sets if that feels good. And uh, definitely getting that more dynamic experience for your core. Now, if you're a parent or grandparent or aunt or uncle or friend, and you have little kids in your life, you're gonna end up taking them to the park. So now that you've got some great ideas of how to work on improving your grip strength, wrist strength, upper body, core, all the whole body strength work so that your strength to weight ratio improves, so that you feel more awesome and capable, uh, you've got all these fun ideas when you're at the park now. So instead of just sitting there on our phones, we can get up off the ground, go onto the monkey bars, go onto the big, there's always a pole there, or a post, and you can do all of these movements that we played with and then, and more. Don't forget to press subscribe, press like, leave a comment, share with us your favorite ways of moving across the monkey bars, working on your own pull-ups, success stories that you've experienced in your life on getting that first pull-up or chin-up and sign up. Don't forget to sign up for my weekly newsletter where you get these movement tips and more right into your inbox each week. So thank you as always for tuning in. We'll see you for the next tutorial.